blob detection has heavily impacted multiple computer vision applications. Welcome back to Learn OpenCV. In this video, I will introduce you to the concept of blob detection using OpenCV and Python. All right, let's get this started. First, let's understand what a blob is. In image processing, a blob is essentially a group of connected pixels that share a common property like color or intensity. It is a common task in computer vision where we identify and mark these regions in images. Now let's discuss how blob detection works in OpenCV using the simple blob detector method. This process involves four main steps. Let's have a look at them one by one. Thresholding. In this case, the source image is converted into multiple binary images. Grouping. This involves the clustering of connected white pixels in these binary images. Merging. Once the grouping is done, the nearby blobs are combined. Centers and radii computation. Finally, the centers and the radii of these blobs are computed. One of the powerful features of the simple blob detector is its ability to filter blobs. Darker or lighter blobs are selected based on the color. Blobs that are more circular are determined with circularity. Convexity is used to compare the area of the blob with its convex hull. Finally, the inertia ratio is used to analyze how elongated a blob is. Alright, let's put this into practice. You'll see how we can detect and visualize blobs in an example image like the one shown on the screen. Initially, the necessary libraries such as OpenCV and NumPy are imported. The image blob.jpg is read in grayscale mode using the cv2.imread method. Then, the simple blob detector method is initialized. With that done, there are a few parameters that need to be set. The minimum and maximum threshold values along with the filter by area, circularity, convexity, and inertia need to be set for blob detection. Next, a blob detector is created with the above specified parameters. This detector is used to detect the presence of blobs in the input image. Within this, the detector.detect method is used to find the blobs. Now, there needs to be a way to visually see the detected blobs, right? For this, let's draw red circles around the detected blobs. This is done by the cv2. Draw key points method within OpenCV. In the end, the output image is displayed like the one shown on the screen, where the detected blobs are circled in red circles. And that's a wrap for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting computer vision content. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.